what we're probably going to find is that it's mostly the standard Islamic narrative. So where would you draw, please, the line between the historic Muhammad and the mythic Muhammad, as difficult as it may be? Evidently, there's a mythological aspect, Muhammad traveling through the skies and into the sky, um, and there's a historic aspect, clearly, but some people go as far as to say the religion of Islam, you mentioned it, didn't arise in the area of Mecca and Medina, rather in the area of Jerusalem. Right. So where would you draw the line? South, and South, South, uh, Arabia. Oh, South, South, South Arabia. Oh, South, 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 South Arabia. Arabia. And uh, again, how would you portray the political interests that led to the way the figure of Muhammad was construed over the decades, if not to say over the centuries? Um. You know, there are people who argue that Muhammad never existed, like there used to be people who argued that Jesus never existed, because, you know, we don't have actual documentary evidence for it. We only have the evidence from within the religious tradition. Uh, but the people who argue that, I think, are rather willful in overlooking a couple of pieces of evidence, document, well, not documentary exactly, but there is, for example, a scrap of Syriac text that dates from something like 634, which is only a couple of years after the prophet died. Uh, that talks about, in Syriac, the Tayyayyeh de Mehmet. It talks about the nomads of someone named, looks like Muhammad, right? Uh, so this is like, almost immediately after he dies, there is a non-Muslim, shall we say, not from the believers community, a reference to an event involving a raid by these people, and they are associated with the name of Burr's name, Mehmet. So I think we have to accept that, yeah, the prophet was there. Uh, now, how much more of the um, shall we say, mythic construction of Muhammad's life that we find in the traditional narratives, which as I summarized for you here earlier, um, we want to accept is a really tough question and there's no answer that we can, no obvious answer we can give to it. My own sense though is that when, let's put it this way, when the day of judgment comes and all truths are revealed, including historic truths, uh, when, if we get to that point, we will, we will find, I think, that um, the traditional Muslim narrative is not completely off base, that maybe 80 or 90 percent of it is pretty much sort of what happened, but that there are certain points at which uh, it has given a totally different spin to aspects of that development. And I think, for example, the notion of communal identity is one of those areas where the real picture might have been quite different from what we're given in the sort of uh, traditional narration, the mythic picture.